The Air Force fighter jet, the F-35A, is advancing toward combat readiness. The first F-35A jets will likely be considered operational by the end of this year. The first model was rolled out back in 2006, and through various tests and changes, it has transformed into the fifth generation aircraft it is today. The past 10 years have been a long journey for the aircraft, and not without controversy. In February, issues were found within the computer system of the jet that gave the F-35A media attention. There's been some other talk in the news just about the computer system. Edwards ran into some kinks, uh, as would be expected from a test squadron, so they had uh, some issues in getting all the, the test uh, bugs worked out. The stuff that the test guys found uh, back in February was great because they turned that around and they loaded us with new software. So we're with uh, a really stable software load right now. I'm ready to take that with my guys uh, to combat as soon as uh, we're called upon. Over the years, the F-35 has drawn awareness for its cost and timeline delays. Those close to the aircraft say there is a reason this jet is an investment and has taken so long to perfect. The jet and the platform, the avionics that it has, is a game changer for what we can do. This game changer is a multi-role aircraft with the capability to fight in every kind of conflict. The U.S. has been fighting a lot of wars against Afghanistan and Iraq where there's no air threat. However, this aircraft is uh, ready not only for the war in Afghanistan and Iraq, but also the, the next war, the future war, that might be against a near-peer adversary that would actually launch aircraft uh, against us. The F-35A is designed to replace older military aircraft down the road, especially because of its technology. It is crucial for the military to stay up to date or preferably ahead of advances in warfare technology. The F-35 does that in many ways. The F-35 is a totally new platform built from the ground up and it has the stealth capability as well as the avionics capability to be able to see the enemy and kill the enemy well before uh, they even see us or know that we're there. And it's really amazing to come out of a debrief and uh, have the red air say, yeah, we never saw you uh, the whole time we were flying. The advanced technology also gives the pilots an edge while flying. The helmet they wear is a breakthrough of its own. It's got a display visor, so I've got this display visor here I can pull down, and uh, this thing, it'll project images uh, through the, uh, the, H the cord. Uh, cable to give me a whole lot of awareness. It can uh, display night vision images and also uh, images from cameras around the jet so I can literally look through uh, the bottom of the aircraft and see the ground. For two weeks this past June, seven F-35As from the 34th Fighter and Aircraft Maintenance Unit squadrons out of Hill Air Force Base traveled to Mountain Home Air Force Base to participate in a mock deployment exercise flying alongside the F-15E Strike Eagles. So that's what we're doing here for these two weeks is we're flying repetition and practicing our tactics that the pilots are executing so that we can get good and ready to uh, say that we're ready to go on our first combat mission. These aircraft are part of a group of 12 that will be the first ever F-35s to be sent to a combat zone. If and when the, uh, the U.S., the President, sends us uh, downrange to fight, this is the aircraft and the equipment that, uh, that's going to go with us. It is not often that a new aircraft is unveiled, and the F-35 is a historic jet that combines technology and air combat in a way that has never been done before. It's absolutely amazing. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of setting history here. We're bringing a new aircraft online. You know, it's humbling to be a part of that. A lot of people focus on the jet, which is super awesome technology, but it's really the people that make, make it work. Uh, without the airmen, uh, the support and the maintenance and the pilots, uh, none of this would happen. And once the jet passes IOC, the work doesn't end there. We're going to focus over the next year on still building our personnel and our forces up and continuing to improve our training. One of our major milestones after IOC will be going to our first red flag. An opportunity for this team to showcase its game changer.